I'm Jess and welcome to Jess Science. Today we are going to be looking at bubble art. Now to do this you're going to need to make your own bubble mixture. It's quite easy. We use washing up liquid and water and we do about six parts of the water to one part of the washing up liquid. So you could do six cups of water and one cup of washing up liquid or scale down or up depending on what you need. You're also going to need some food coloring to add to it and some straws to blow bubbles into it and a piece of paper to see what it looks like. Now what we are looking at is what bubbles are made out of. So bubbles are like a water sandwich. So it's water in the middle with soap on the top and soap on the bottom. So the soap's a bit like the bread, the water is what you put in your sandwich of choice. And the main thing that fills up a bubble is of course air. You're going to see how little there is to a bubble by taking an imprint of them. Now to do this, it's very, very important that we only blow out. To practice it, put your hand in front and make sure you breathe in before you put your straw in and then blow out. <laughs> All right, you're also gonna to wanna to make sure your surface is protected, so put a tray down and a cloth as well. And step one is I've got my bubble mixture here with some black food coloring. I mixed it up and now I'm going to blow bubbles up so it's overflowing. Press my piece of paper over top and we are going to see that beautiful bubble film on our paper. Let's give it a try. <laughs> nice and overflowing and press your paper down. Ooh, there we go. We only have a few of them, so we are going to mix that black food coloring in there and do it again. Here we go. Remember, only blow out. <laughs> and press down again. <laughs> there we are. Getting some more of them. Whoop. Going to do another one. <laughs> All right. Wipe the hose bubbles off and get one more press down. If you do have thicker paper, that's a bit better because, of course, the paper kind of gets a little bit misshapen when it gets wet and that will happen less if it's thicker. So we can already start to see that. With the black food coloring in here, we can see the outlines that our bubbles have made and where we've had a lot of bubbles, it's blurred to, the, to produce that kind of dark line there. So pretty neat, you can have your own bubble art. Make sure you put it somewhere nice and safe for it to dry. And that's just kind of the black outline. Now I recommend trying different containers and different colors and create your own bubble art masterpiece. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.